What I love about Hannah Castellon is sa iisang hapag. Well, a lot of things. It's an homage to the Last Supper. The table is populated by women. The women are dressed in different local garbs, representing the richness of our Philippine culture. As Castellone puts it, quote, The Filipino culture is not only our usual barotsaya clad ladies, but it is actually so much rich, unique, and diverse, unquote. She hopes through her art, quote, we learn more and remember our babayan. From top left to bottom right, batak, gadang, tiboli, ibaloy, dumagat, yakan, tausog, hanunuo, mangyan, butbot, tagalog, maranal, sulubnon, ifugao. I'm sorry if I mispronounce some of them. Of course, it doesn't mean these tribes have never been represented in Pinoy art, but we tend to forget the tribal communities. When we think of the Filipina on canvas, we think of a more solace rural maiden. And as Castellone has shown us, the Filipina maiden is just one twelfth of who the Filipina is. I'm sure there are more than 12 types of Filipinas based on culture. And another thing that I like about Castellone's work, it's the eyes. When do we close our eyes voluntarily and outside the context of sleeping? It's when we want to rest, feel something more intensely, or concentrate on something. Castellone's Filipino women are resting as they sit at a table ready to enjoy fellowshipping with each other. They are also trying to take in the moment of being one. Castellone calls her work iisang hapag. A moment of oneness, solidarity, and unity is rare in our country. Like what the artist said, reimagine last supper where women from different communities and tribes of our country come together. We may have differences in culture and beliefs, but at the end of the day, we are all on the same table, on the same land, unquote. We see fruits, fish, delicacies, and hot beverage being served. And who are in a country, you can find them, but we can experience and enjoy them differently depending on where you are in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. When we close our eyes and just enjoy the senses of our taste, smell, hearing, and touch, we close ourselves to the prejudice that our eyes bring. For when they are open, we see our differences and our biases. Our prejudice leads us to avoid and alienate each other. But when we close our eyes, we are guided by our sense of imagination that only want to serve our dreams and happiness. Hopefully, one day we can open our eyes and our arms to each other. Unity in diversity is essential. Art is essential. Mm-hmm.